Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to Death End Request. In the last episode, Rin got captured by the rabbit assholes and got tortured. And, uh, we're back, we're in Odyssey now, and Sheen is having another flashback. And I'm worried that we're reaching the part where Sheena gets impaled and her head gets chomped off and everyone's dead, if you remember the beginning. Because I knew the game would go probably up to that point, unless it will change, because... I don't know, maybe we'll find out the end of this flashback. I have a <gasps> feeling. Sheena? What's the matter? Why are you crying? People in this world disappear after they get involved with me. My controller's dying in shock! Oh god, hold on. I disappear with her? So, so, goodbye! Wait! Huh? We need to choose your name. Eh? Oh, you remembered? Of course. I mean... We made a promise, didn't we? I came up with the cutest name, too. Iris. That's what and it everyone, is. Everyone forgot about me. Come here. Don't worry. I will never forget about you. No, don't do that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, come on. Wipe your tears. They are unbefitting to your name. Okay, Sheena, tell me, what's my name? Iris. Iris? Your name is Iris. Iris? The Iris flower, you see, is a symbol of hope. It has an air of elegance, but it can withstand even the harshest of elements. I gave you this name because I want you to be as strong as an Iris. So no matter how hard things get, don't ever give up hope. The future you want is in your hands, Iris. The future I want? I... I want to be with everyone. I want to smile every day. This time with you, Sheena. As long as you never give up, then your wish will come true. I won't ever forget about you. Friends forever, okay? Iris. My name is Iris! Thanks, Sheena! I won't ever give up! No matter what happens, I'll become strong, just like you! Next time I see everyone, I'm gonna stand up straight and say, Hi, I'm Iris! Let's be friends! <laughs> Cute. It only ended badly in the end. <sighs> How are you doing, Sheena? Sheena? How? How could I have forgotten all about all this time? Is she sweet talking? She might still be coming too. Hey, you okay? <laughs> what did you see this time? Mr. Enigma, everything. I finally remember everything. Her name and the days we spent together. Her. Iris. Her name is Iris. That was the name mentioned in the Luton's Project report. I remember reading about how they forced Sheena to bond with Iris to foster emotional dependence, but maybe it worked too well. Who's that? Your girlfriend, Sheena? Oh, jeez. I, uh, I, I'm pretty sure she just means... Either she meant actual girlfriend, or as girls say, girlfriend. Yes, she's a good friend of mine that I've been long neglecting. I see. It must have been tough to get someone you really cared about. I'm glad you finally remember, Sheena. Don't push yourself too hard until you've had a chance to relax, okay? Would you like to meet camp somewhere? <laughs> Thanks for the love, everyone. But I'm all better now. Mizunashi, we need to find Iris. I know she's somewhere in this world, all alone. Man, 
She's always putting others before herself, even when she's just gone through hell. I need to tell her the truth, or else who knows how much guilt she put and put herself through. Sheena, I'm sorry for being the one to tell you, but I think Iris died a long time ago. What? I read a confidential report, progress report, detailing the life of Iris. Some lines have been redacted, so I couldn't quite find out how Iris died. It seems like the bugs have been spilling over into our world. The report also included the story of how the Ludens came to be. I see. Yeah, well, we'll catch up about that stuff later. In the meantime, let's get back to where the others are. Okay, I feel like I am Iris' keeper. If she's already dead, then how would she show me fragments of her memories? Iris, what is it you're trying to tell me? To the dungeon, everyone. Time to banish Heaven's Messenger back to where it came from. Okay, everyone says. <laughs> well, I want to go... I want to go up there, but... The game sure isn't giving me a sure way to get there. How the hell do I get over there? Ah, uh, no, come on, give me a break. That's not gonna be anything real special. Can she get over there? Come on. How do we get there? Oh, wait. Was that one over there always there? There's no way this one was always there. I didn't see it. Oh, yeah, because this guy was blocking. That's why I didn't see it. Ugh. Go. There we are. Much better. Cam. Anyone to talk to, probably? Nah. Oh, no. Talk to Al. Hmm. I was wondering when I'd get my daily dosage of stupidity today. What? You got something to say? Hey, stop fighting! What is it then, Al? Funny you should ask. I remember it all. I'm in the middle of a game. Eh? Has she... Wait. Is she... Is she serious? I'm happy to hear it. Totally. Your game is the real deal, Enigma. Mm -hmm. Before my time here is through, I gotta make sure I complete everything to become a master adventurer. It's just weird that she knows that she's in a game now and it's not breaking her. I'll admit, I could learn from her optimism. Yep, that's one thing we are trying to do. I know I'm just skipping this, but I'm kind of wondering how much more she's going to talk about this. So, the others... Lily, is, or maybe I might talk with Silica. Are you going to say that you know this? Enigma, could I speak with you? Hmm? What's up? I remember it all. My true memories. Since you had expressed concern for me, I thought to inform you. Okay, so she knows. Oh, does it have to do with that dream? Yes, those were no mere dreams. They were memories. My memories. Are you okay? Huh? Why do you ask? Oh, I thought you might have been upset, but judging by your reaction, that doesn't seem to be the case. 
Yes, in fact, I feel a sense of relief. Thinking back, all memories I had of my time as Princess of Hardest felt hazy, hence why I was so ready to accept them as my own. When the kingdom fell to ruin, I fell into depression. When I was in prison, I felt lonely. Those are the only emotions I can truly, I can truly recall. Only those. That's rough. Perhaps because we're not so different. The real me, and the me who serves as the Queen of Hardis. I see. Sounds like there's a lot that you two have in common. That must feel surreal. It's all still speculation, of course. For now, however, I must continue living as though nothing has changed. Until the day I die, the people of this world will know me as the Queen of Hardis. Yeah, the only version of you that I know is Lily. But I think both of you are every bit as real. Thank you. My next question is, when does the simulation end? Well, there's no point in hiding it now. I used to be this game's head programmer, but someone's altered it beyond my control. Is that so? How are we to get out? If you allow Sheena to perform the ending engage, then she'll walk out. In fact, it'll allow all of you to escape. I'm currently working to alter the code of the game's engine, so give me some time. While I do that, just keep progressing, okay? Very well. I believe in you. <laughs> if I, too, walk out safely, then we'll see each other again in the real world, okay? Of course. You'll walk out safely. Just wait a little longer, so we can all exit together. Okay. That wasn't just for Lily. I pledged to help bring back everyone to the other side. So... Lucille, will you? Yes, she knows. Lucille, you've regained your memories, right? Could you tell me more about yourself? Sure. Though, I'm not very good at opening up about myself. I'm a Hapa. Huh? Raised in a rural church community, because I was mixed. People made me the subject of their irie. I was driven out of the church, so I fled j to Japan. Sounds awfully close to her character's backstory, but she isn't the only NPC that has something in common with her real-world self. When you first came to Japan, how were you able to manage on your own? I quickly found a part-time job and filled every day with work. Now I've gotten so used to having company that I don't think I can stomach being alone anymore. Oh, you think you'd want to hang out with us again? I'm sad. I do. The time we spend together makes the thought of parting a somber one. I don't know if I want to return to the real world. Don't worry. Even when you log out, we can spend as much time together as you'd like. Really? Totally. I bet the rest of the girls would say the same thing, too. You think, Enigma? Of course. It troubles me seeing how codependent Lucille can be, but... Oh well. You've cheered me up. I wish for everyone to stick together, like a family. Family. Um, if Sheena is our mother, then Enigma would be... our father? What would Lily and the others be? Lily, Al, Quaya, and Silica are the older sisters to me. Would that make you the youngest, Lucille? I can see Lily being the eldest, but I think of Al as more of a younger sister. No, Lucille is the youngest. Everyone was the youngest. Got it. In the beginning, she was dem demure as she can be. But it seems like she's finally warmed up to everyone. Oh, Sheena's calling for us. Let's go, uh, Dad? I'm not sure how I feel about that, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's head back to everyone. After you, youngin. <laughs> Aw, that was nice. How am I it warms me. It warms me up as How well. Were you interested in selling How nah. ah, you wanted to browse my wares. Uh ooh, yeah, what was you called, right? 
Okay, we need Dewdrop, Ruin Marble, some Golden Mirror, Stardust. Take a gander at the goods on display. See if I one of these. Is this Buy it already. One Is of this these. Thank you. Okay, and the rest I can buy in Chapter 11. Marble and Stardust, I didn't see those there, right? I might be able to find these, but who knows? Marble and Stardust, okay. Oh boy, that cost a lot of money, but it would be good for the characters I'm using right now. I didn't know Sheena's defense was at maximum, by the way. That cost a lot, but I got a lot of money, so what would it be like that? It's only really for the characters I use anyway, I would guess. Just buy two. Is this so thank you? Doesn't really put a hole in my wallet though. Is so thank you. Okay. How might I be careful out there? Okay. Oh wait a minute. This is much mind. different, though. Check this out. Ah, Not bad. This one. Need to buy one more. Need to buy one more. Excuse me, I, ah, my friend. You wanted to browse my wares. Just one more. Is this, thank you. Okay. Oh, jeez, if I did that, we'd be messing up some people's stats. I'll so we're not going to do that, around. of course. Nice. That should be good. Okay. So, we're gonna save. Before, you know, things go terribly wrong. When I get in Chapter 11, I'm gonna need to be very careful with my saves if I don't complete all side quests prior. Because it could be one messed up save that gets me out of the true ending and shoves me into the normal ending when I work so hard for the true ending. <laughs> It. But Heaven's Messenger has to be that thing that killed Sheena in the very beginning of the game. In a way, it would make sense. Where are we going? Can I go back? Jump! Uh oh. Uh. Oops. Okay, that's. Fine, I guess we are gonna hop back, because I guess we break our legs, probably. <laughs> oh well, I kinda got the best items anyway, so. This would take us back down, wouldn't it? Ah, I see. Just don't want to forget things. Hello there. Ruined sword? Pfft, who wants a ruined sword? When you got something from the pain area. There's a certain tone in this song here that makes me think of the very beginning of Sora Online uh, Hollow Fragment or Rehollow Fragment. Um, when Kirito is fighting. Uh, what the heck? Was it Akiba? It's not Aki, but that's the name of a Japanese place. I'm an idiot. Kaiba, I think it was. Akihiko Kaiba, yeah. This is the music sounded a little bit similar there for a second. Before getting too close, let's see. No, can't do anything in reality. I see the dungeon from here. This is the real deal, Al. What does Heaven's Messenger look like? We might already know. Not as snarling or as pungent as the last few bosses, I hope. I think they might be right. <laughs> now that we're close, I'm starting to get a little pumped. Yeah, let's take down Heaven's Messenger. That'd make me a full-fledged adventurer. I'm more curious about whatever happens after we beat Heaven's Messenger. The legend about this place must be true, right? That when you reach the temple, you are granted one wish? 
That's right, I'm already thinking of ways to spend my dough once I become the richest person in the world. Peddling's for suckers. Hey, wait a minute! What makes you think you're getting a wish, Clea? I think I deserve it more than you do. Lucille, too. <sighs> We're about to fight the hardest boss in the game. And look, and look at how nonchalant everyone is. <laughs> but thanks to their good spirits, I don't feel any unnecessary pressure. If that's the case, then I'll let it slide. But I'm gonna log out, just to make sure we're all set to start the ending engage, okay? If we want Lily and the others to log out too, then I'll need to find a way to disable their NPC programming and restore their sentience. You're awesome! I can't wait to see you with my own eyes soon. You know... Whatever. Anyway, if you head to the dungeon before I return, just make sure not to start the battle without me. Got it. Thank you. No problem. If we can defeat Heaven's Messenger, then our wish will come true. Are you ready for that? Yes, of course. We're in this together. I thought she'd be nervous, but Sheena really seems at ease. I've done everything I can in here. Just gotta rewrite this programming. I'm just gonna save here just in case. I'm just gonna be saving a lot now. Who knows what'll happen. Okay, Musunashi. Game time. You need to think through this thoroughly. This is your only chance. You can't afford to fail. Is there anything you haven't overlooked? Ooh. 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 Scaring me. Uh, 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 hopefully. I hope. That's what I'm gonna save a lot. I don't wanna fuck it up. What's this going to? Where did we go? Oh shit. Should have done that. Bring me back. Fool! What have you done? Let's just be careful. Just gotta save a lot. And maybe sometimes have my saves be farther out from each other. Alright, this is it. We're all set to go. So Heaven's Messenger is all that's left, huh? Yeah, I made sure to check over the ending engage sequences in the source code. How are Sheena and the girls doing? I'm having them wait on standby, at least until it's time to defeat the final boss. Then what's the big holdup? Is something bothering you? Well, it's source code. Most of it has been rewritten, and we can't perform a system update to fix it. At first, I wasn't able to retrieve the missing logout module. But thanks to the CEO, I was able to recreate a significant chunk of it, thankfully. There don't seem to be any bugs in the logout area. Good job. Want a sip of my Monstro energy drink? <laughs> Monstro. Thanks. The scariest part to me is what I've saved for last, restoring the NPC's memories. I'm nervous. I haven't been able to run any uh, primarily s simulations. We've only got one shot at this too. Right. Plus, the CEO isn't answering my calls. I've had to improvise it on my own. Yeah. Well, here goes. Well, I understand the pressure. You can't really afford to mess up, can you? Guess all of our lives are in your hands. Yeah, that's what scares me. I've probably looked over this code more than two dozen times. The curse of being a programmer, huh? If you've done something right, People won't know you've done anything at all. <laughs> I'll say. We're not wizards who can conjure solutions out of thin air. That competitive spirit is what separates the best of the best, huh? At least, that's why I'm here. <laughs> well, I guess you're hanging to have around. What? Ugh. Anyway, if you've overlooked if you've looked over the code over twenty times, I'm sure it's good to go. Yeah. 
I believe in you. Huh? You know, it's funny. Whenever things come down to the wire, you're here to save the day. Almost like clockwork. It's impressive, really. The rest of the world might never know what you accomplish here, but I will. Even now, you're sacrificing so much of yourself to make this happen. I wouldn't say, if, say it if I didn't see it for myself. Just have faith in yourself, alright? Initiate the sequence. Man, Tokyo always knows just what to say. She's so... kind. Huh? Are you crying? Don't tell me you can't take compliments. Can you? Shut up. Alright. Stand by. I'm going to log in and give Sheen the green light. Actually, you're mistaken. Oh, fuck. No, no! No! <laughs> All of a sudden, the lights in the room shut off, leaving us to sit in panic in total darkness.